Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Every word has its own meaning. That's why we use certain words for certain to describe certain uh, items, things, activities, feelings, and so on. Right? So we can use them as verbs, uh, nouns, uh, adjectives, adjectives, and. Uh, each word has a definition, a strict definition, if you want to take it. That's why we don't use a word in when it's not, uh, you know, uh, it doesn't fit the uh, thing that you describe, be it an, uh, an activity, be it, uh, as I said, feelings or other uh, or uh, uh, nouns. So in this case, I would like to discuss the, the meaning of genocide. And why do I want to make sure that I uh, I describe, I read the definition, which is very straightforward, in order to, to uh, then identify if indeed uh, genocidal activities occurred in our history and who were responsible and uh, you know, uh, see if that would fit you know, the crime with a definition. So let's go here with uh, uh, the definition of the genocide is uh, the deliberate killing of a large number of people from a particular nation or ethnic group with the aim of destroying that nation or group. So a large number, it doesn't say uh, um, what's a large number, 50, 100, 1000, 1 million and so on. Uh, when you have a nation, and let's say you have a nation of 100 million, if you kill, let's say, 1,000, I, you can destroy a country. You can see it's the beginning of something. It's a war crime or a crime or something, a mass crime. But uh, genocide, it should be, I think, proportionate with the, the, the number of the initial number of the nation in this in this. Uh, in this situation we're talking about. So let's say the United States has, let's say, 340 million people, and let's say we got uh, the Haitians attacking the United States, and they start killing indiscriminately, uh, let's say, 100,000 people. Would that be a genocide? I don't know, it's a large mass of, uh, a large number of people, and from a particular nation, a group with the aim of destroying the nation. So then you have to have the number and the aim to destroy it. So you have to say, I want to destroy this nation. I want to exterminate it. I want to, you know, eradicate. So you have to state that. Uh, that's the aim. So you have to state the aim. You can't just say, you know, in the process of picking flowers, the Americans uh, uh, prevented the Haitians to pick up the flowers from the fields. So therefore, when the Americans, uh, you know, inter uh, intervened, the Haitians killed the Americans. That's not genocide, is it? Because the Haitians did not have the intention of killing the uh, Americans for the killing of Americans, the aim of eradicating them. They had the intention of uh, some other aims. And in the process, they killed a large number of people. So now we go to the... Uh, article, today's article, that I want to discuss. We have, this comes from The Hill, from 27th of April, 2022. This is the title. Canada's parliament votes to call Putin's war a genocide. Well, there's a lot of things here. All right. Is that Putin's war or is it Russia's war? And why would you consider it as Putin's war? Because he is the president-elect of that country. He represents that country. He has general generals. He got uh, military. He's got advisors. He's got the Security Council. He's got the Duma. All the all the institutions that uh, you find in any other democratic system of a country that considers itself democratic. Uh, 
So let's be serious about it. Uh, it's not Putin's war, it's Russia's war. This country attacked this country. Was in any, in any statement made by the Russian government in the name of the Russian people, obviously, because they got elected by the population, so they represent them. Like Biden and this administration represents me, Blinken, when he goes and talks with everybody and talks as he talks, he represents me. Even I, if, let's say, I didn't vote for his party that he belongs to. He still represents me. That's how he's in a democracy. I mean, a democratic system, you know. Uh, so we have here Putin's war. Well, I don't think it's Putin's war. I think it's Russia's war. Was it for uh, destroy that nation or group? Nobody said they want to destroy Ukraine. and Not Ukraine. Ukrainians. I never heard that. You can say, well, that's the implicit uh, aim, right? Well, I don't think it is, because if that would be the case, they would just uh, conduct the war differently, don't you think? Like, simply just bomb Kiev and be done with that. I think they have the capability very well. I mean, just by any kind of means. Conventional rockets or non-conventional rockets. Kiev and other big uh, cities in Ukraine with civilians, if they just wanted to destroy that nation, that would be the goal, they could have raised it. So that can be the goal, because that would be the easiest way. Why should you send your armies and have casualties and uh, destruction on, in, on your side, from your army, when you can solve it this way? You just boom, 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 zap, 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 and that's it, no more Ukrainians. So it can't be that goal. So it can be a genocide. Now the number. What's the large number of that nation? Military is not necessarily a uh, consider, you know, an army that, that defends the other army, uh, uh, defends its territory. It's not clear that you want to destroy that particular. Otherwise, you have to destroy a nation overall, which is the civilians mostly. Not the army that defends. It's two armies fighting. Therefore, otherwise we would call any war that took place on, in the, our long history, or short history, uh, uh, with a genocide. When Napoleon invaded, uh, let's say, Russia, it was genocide because it killed uh, Russian military men, right? Army. So no, that's not it. So then it's not, cannot be put in a, a, gen, a genocide uh, category by dealing with this. That's my assessment, okay? Uh, otherwise, as I said, it would be very easy. Large number. What's a large number? What's the population of Ukraine? 40 some million or something? About that, 40 some million. Now, how many people were, civilians, were targeted by the invaders? In this case, the Russians. Were they 100,000? Obviously, we don't know. So if we don't know, the Canadian um, Parliament should not talk crap. Because as of now, we don't know. Now, if we know, how, what's the figure? What's the number? I never heard any number. How many civilians were killed? 50,000? 10,000? I do not know. Are there... So, if we don't know the number, there's no evidence that these guys are trying to destroy the nation and, you know, target civilians and the nation overall to exterminate it. Uh, it has to be, you know, a plan that you put in action and you follow that and it has to be a systematic attempt to exterminate that nation, those people. I don't see that in Ukraine, do you? I mean, be honest now. Take the proportionality. I'm not defending those guys. I'm just pointing fingers right now at the Canada's parliament. That's what I'm doing. If in the meantime, we find out that uh, the Russians killed you know, indiscriminately, they rounded up all the civilians and exterminated them and all that. Yes, genocide right there. But as of now, I don't see that. I don't see Russians rounding up uh, any Ukrainian because destroying a nation, nation, that's part of a nation, people. And boom, 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 taking care of them. Like in the Second World War, right? With the Jews, and with the gypsies or with the homosexuals. There was a systematic rounding up of those people, taken in the camps and taking care of them, right? That is genocide, right there. A large mass of people, we can kind of know the number, right? There are some numbers that you can't deviate from, 
and so on. So we know that. Is that the case here? We don't know yet. Nevertheless, Canada's parliament already voted for it. Now, can you think of um, how many genocides can you enumerate that you know of from our history, long history, uh, where, you know, it's a nation trying to systematically exterminate another people? That's the, we have the Second World War, correct? We have that one clearly. Then it's that, prior to that, we have the Armenian genocide, right? That the Turks uh, did something over there, right? Uh, then we had what? Rwanda's genocide or something. Then they tried something in uh, Bosnia, I think, in Yugoslavia, and the UN said that it was not genocide, but that it was tried anyway. But nevertheless, if it was over there, just let me know, but it's another example. But let's go a little bit more back in history. Were there some, were there some uh, people who lived on, in North America? And there were some other people who came and systematically pushed them uh, aside. Systematically. Now, how do you call that? To the point that I think from 100%, they got to what? 1%? Of the current population and now how would you call that we know the numbers we know the perpetrators we know it was a plan to do that you know the how that was called the, the manifest the what no well was that in canada i think too it wasn't the pope a while ago over there and he almost apologized or he apologized to the nations why only him because of those boarding schools who had those boarding schools? Why were the boarding, boarding schools? Who, what government was over there? And after that, who was it? So wasn't that Canada? Wasn't that United States? So uh, once you uh, accept your faults, then you can point fingers. I'm okay with that. I didn't hear about this being a, uh, accepted officially. In Canada or in the United States, but they keep pointing fingers. Let's say, let's say, Iran decides that going to vote that that's a genocide in Canada and the uh, native nations or whatever is a appropriate term, which I don't really care to be honest with you. Uh, they are Native Americans, Indian Americans, whatever you want to be called. So I'm not up to the uh, uh, New speak, my bad. Nevertheless, you know what I'm talking about. So these guys voted for something. They don't know the number. They don't have the motives as far as now. I just enumerated. And they are their country. Could be, I don't know, could be. You Canadians know more than I about your history. It, but wasn't something like that? I'm just, I'm just saying. And then besides, any country can point fingers at every other country. But are you going to act upon it? And if yes, why? Because if you act upon it against, let's say, Russia, then let's say Iran has the right to act upon it towards the United States and Canada probably about the, you know, the same term that they used for Russia and Putin's war. They can act, right? They, they have the liberty, right? Or you would say, <laughs> They can't because we kick them in the teeth. Oh, so it's about power then. It's not about morality and logic and objectivity. So there you go. Our uh, uh, civilization took a shit, right? So the Canadian House of Commons declared Russia's actions in Ukraine a gen genocide on Wednesday, listing alleged crimes, including alleged it's in the article. If it's alleged, how can you, you know, you can't convict someone on allegation. The allegation has to be proven, investigated. Those are uh, the Canadian leaders that Canadian people voted for or were, were given the opportunity to vote for. Uh, when they listing alleged crimes, including killing civilians, desecrating bodies, kidnapping children, torture and rape alleged crimes. So there you have it. 
they already determined occurred without evidence. Evidence there is, but as I said, you have to make connections. They jump the gun. And I hate this moral, uh, <clears throat> moral standing of certain countries who have their own, they have their own uh, uh, sins in the back. But they, 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 they you know, cover it like the cat. They cover, it covers its shit. And, and nothing here, nothing to see. But they point fingers. But if you dare to point finger them, they will punch you in the face. That's why I don't like this kind of uh, situation. The lawmakers unanimously approved the measure. So all of them, none of them raised a question. Hey, do we have the evidence to, to connection? Have the, has there been an uh, evidence, uh, an investigation, a court, something, or a hearing? No. So how can we do this? How many people died? Is there any way? Did they do it? How? Did they say they will do it? What's going on here? Is there a plan to exterminate them? What is it? These are the leaders. No, they're not the leaders. These are not leaders. These are politicians. And it says here, the lawmakers approved the measure, 100% of them, which said there is ample evidence of systematic and massive war crimes and crimes against humanity being committed against the people of Ukraine. Generalities. If there is evidence that uh, were committed, how many? And who did it? And where is the plan? Where is the systematic and massive war? Could be more systematic if you want, as I explained at the beginning of this video. And how do you know it was them? It was not the other ones. Was there an investigation? Not yet. So um, they call uh, Putin a criminal and a genocide and a Canadian... Canadian uh, dictator minister, prime maker, Canadian prime minister Justin Trudeau said earlier this month that it was absolutely right that more people were using the term genocide to describe Russia's war. It, that, that doesn't make it right. As I said, uh, truth is not based on a democratic vote. Truth is based on evidence and facts and investigation and objectivity. That's how you find it. Empirical evidence, gathering or evidence. That's how it's done. Trudeau, you have 15 crazies in your classroom saying that you did something and they're going to vote for it without evidence. They're going to hang you. Is that how it works? What would you say they? Okay, man. I mean, there were 15 out of 17. So everybody said I was a criminal. So it must be true, right? Don't, wouldn't you ask, hey, where is the evidence? Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Take it easy. Wouldn't you? Trudeau already decided, hey, everybody calls it, must be true. That's a prime minister of a country. Well, I'm not going to discuss the uh, truckers, uh, the way he dealt with, uh, with the truck, Canadian truckers, because that was, remind me, reminds me of communism uh, Romania. Or if you want any other form of communism, when they let you talk, but if you talk something that you're not okay, they're not okay, or you shake the boat a little bit, they're going to take care of you like any other tyrant. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong. Stay smart. Look for the truth. And be just. Thank you very much for being with me.